Hi everyone, my name is Iko Yamato. How's it going? Right, all the parts of the mode are dry now, so we can move on to an exciting next stage. Sip casting. First, we assemble all the modes we have created. But before that, I have to tell you one thing. Regarding one of the connection surface of teapot body part, which is for attaching the spout later on. The area needs to be flat because we'll be making lots of holes so that the water could pass through. So we just need to get rid of this mark with some tools beforehand. It looks fine now, so let's assemble the body part. Next, this is the porcelain slip I normally use. I purchased this from the retailer called Ceramatec in London. When you open the lid, it will look like this. And to prepare the slip, you basically use the ladle to take the amount you need and move it to another bucket. something like this and add some filtered water to it. About this much? I can't really tell exact ratio of them because I judge it from the pressure my hand can feel while I'm mixing the slip. But what I can tell is you adjust its density by adding more water or more original slip until it gets to the density of yogurt drink rather than just yogurt or just milk. If you want to know the detail about the ratio of porcelain slip, I've left the memo on the description section of this video clip, so please check it out. And once it's done, let the slip go through the ship to filter out any impurities that might have mixed in. Right, 
We are going to pour this ship into these molds now. Regarding the times, we are going to give it to each mold. I would say 18 minutes for the body part, 7 minutes for the spout, 6 minutes for the lid, 4 minutes for the handle, and finally 2 minutes for the knob. Basically, we start with bigger size part because the waiting time is longer. And also, it's nice to have multiple timer like this. So that you can do several tasks at the same time. Anyway, let's start pouring the sleeping. The plaster absorbs the water rapidly from the slip, so keep an eye on the level of the slip in the mold, and top it up if necessary. Job done. Okay, we'll be done with all the parts. These small parts will be ready to take out in 20 minutes. And as for the body, I'll give about an hour. Right, we are going to take the parts out of the molds now. I usually use a knife like this to remove the clay about the mass of the mold. and put it out like this and you see this clay around the bottom of the mouth hole we don't need this part either so we use this knife to cut it out now we take the mold top off and the side parts.
I just keep these in the bucket for now so that they won't become dry. And the body part. And hold on the side part and lift it up. Now take the side parts off. All the parts are out now, and I think this is it for today. I will show you the process of attaching all the parts to the body part with the next episode. Hi everyone, we've got bus number 43 and number 44 here. Hello madam, what would you like to drink today? Oh, hi. Um, could I have a cup of jasmine tea, please? And also, if you have any nuts? Certainly, madam. Here we go. Thank you. It's rare to see you ordering nuts, madam. Mm. I'm doing this 16 hour fasting at the moment and according to the source of information you are yet allowed to eat nuts during this 16 hour interval when you become very very hungry only nuts are allowed sir so basically I was very hungry what is 16 hour fasting? you're not overweight are you? <laughs> it's nothing to do with weight control, sir. I watched one YouTube channel the other day, and I've learned the fact that basically you don't need to eat three times a day. <laughs> the tradition of having three meals a day was created not so long ago with human history, and it was possibly fixed at some point for the purpose of the business. It has only started since the world became relatively richer. But haven't you had a moment like, you just have lunch even if you're not hungry, or just because it's lunch time? That's true. Besides you eat snacks, just because you've seen someone eating it. So basically, your organs are working all the time, and actually they need break sometimes. And it is said that if you give break to your organ for 16 hours, it will bring about autophagy effect within your body. And this may prevent you from catching lots of types of disease, including cancer. Wow, that sounds great. I'm getting used to this circle, but still, I get hungry from time to time. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, everybody, and see you next time.